how's everyone doing? We made it to the middle of January. It's still January. <laughs> it's still January. <laughs> January feels like it's gone for like three months. I don't well, know what's going always, on. That's always the case. It's always it. It's and I just the don't longest understand. month. I mean, yeah. yeah. It's it not, forever. yeah. And it's it does the, take like, forever. Why can't July be the longest month or June? <laughs> Summer just goes by so fast. So fast. So the fast. Blink of an eye. So fleeting. Adam's not on the um, podcast, but he's responding to the group chat. Oh, he is. Oh, my gosh. He must be indisposed oh, in, and it's in the blurry. comfort what is room. This? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Adam. <laughs> oh. Not safe for Miranda content. There, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Austin Hopkins is like, where is Adam? <laughs> Adam is sending NSFM photos in the group chat from while he is somewhere absent from the Abs- actual group chat, <laughs> where he's just Disney off porn. cam, just right there. Yeah, who knew? Man, wow, who knew? We should have. We should have known. <laughs> this oh. is Adam. This is this is Adam causing um causing a ruckus on our group chat. Hold on. Oh. Oh. oh, Adam, stop. Stop, Adam. <laughs> you hear that? Stop. That's Adam going off on the group chat sharing NSFM uh, posts mm-hmm. to Miranda. Instead of being so. in front of a microphone. Instead, <laughs> instead of doing his job. Doing his, his damn job. job. Oh, I have it on loop, so it's just oh good. Oh, my God. I was like, why has it not stopped? <laughs> I forgot. Silence the group chat. Uh, silence your group Mute. chat. Uh, uh, so it's time to start the show now that Adam's been go- uh, going off on the group chat. Welcome everyone to the podcast <laughs> that asks the most important question of your week. Where the hell is Adam? <laughs> Where's Adam? Wait, is this, do you have a Yule log on your TV or do yeah. you still have a Christmas tree up? <laughs> it is, no, that is a Yule log. That's ambient mode on my TV. So I have, that's oh. the only fireplace option they have is one with a Christmas oh. tree. So annoying. Uh, you got to get on Disney annoying. Plus and get the Olaf Yule log. Oh, the Olaf. Yeah, that's a good one. Miss Yule. Or just go to YouTube. I bet there's some lots there. of logs. <laughs> you and you and Adam should have your own looping Yule log. <laughs> no. The it's group chat should ex- have. It's just Casey. Sitting, sitting you should have couch. one in your room right now. You should have like a. Uh, st- you know those study with me videos where it's just you yes. typing, and <laughs> and we'll get the we'll get the, the, the stuff moving. Yeah, the stuff moving. So they know that you know we're live. And then the comments are like, "Did you guys see the Barbie Squishmallow moved? Did anyone else see that?" <laughs> I'll have I'll have um yeah some strings that attach, and then someone will be pulling them over there. So you'll be able to see them move. <laughs> Frankie Stein and uh, Dracula and all her friends can move as well. Why is Adam not here yet? He's, yeah, this he's is. In, just, he's in the bathroom. Oh Shocker. my gosh. Hey, he cannot. When he is on a time crunch like this, his phone is not allowed in the bathroom. Right? Yeah, you the need rule. to take exactly. his phone away. You gotta take, take the phone yeah. away. You can well, go to the bathroom that. <laughs> Make it a dead spot in there. No, no, no service. Yeah, you need to no block Wi-Fi. the service. Yeah, yeah. Um, when he gets in, the first thing you have to ask is what he had for lunch, because I think that should explain. Oh, he just <laughs> he just replied in the group chat. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, RJ, I did just think of something. Um, mm-hmm. Can you go like this? Oh no! Why? It's it's. Wow. Like, do like it this. For horns no, down. it's not anything. Hook them horns. Oh, for oh, because I'm not on my phone. Oh, is it for the screen? Hold on. I yeah. Can do how does it? But how do you get it to do it otherwise? If I, because I sometimes I use my iPhone as our webcam, and when it's that, oh. then. Because I, I saw a, a t- or you know, like a which which things you can do in FaceTime to, so that's what makes the balloons and the fireworks and stuff. I think this? two thumbs up is fireworks. <gasps> that's a good. This camera. is rock. <gasps> <Whoa! laughs> oh my god! Okay, How now do two thumbs up that quickly. 
I know the heart. Hearts. hearts. Two the thumbs other one? up. Uh, two. Th- two. Is this two. explosions? Ah. Fireworks. Uh-huh. Wow. It's like in my ear. Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah, get your ear plugs. Yeah. One thumb up oh. is, yeah. I don't know. Oh. <gasps> oh. 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 Rain for thumbs Ooh. down. Shoot. And then, yeah, like one thumb up is just. Just the, uh, the bubble. Yeah. Well, this is fascinating. <laughs> if Adam sends one more text in this group chat, RJ, I'm going to make you drag his ass. Bring the, bring, <laughs> gonna, bring the camera in there through the door. Yeah. <laughs> Come out. Yes, well, Adam had Well, what can we a... talk about while Adam is not here? What's new with well, you two girls? Uh, Let's get all the girl chat out now. Oh, my so God. Anything so about I... lip? Anything about drunk elephant or whatever it was called again? <laughs> I keep forgetting what no. it is. I... Went to like one of those like golf simulator places this weekend. You know where like you go. Yes. It's like the screen. You, it's very screen. cold yeah. weather coded because they were doing that in New Hampshire the day that we left. Mm. Oh yeah, it's they were all very one of the only to things go. to do. I'm never mm-hmm. excited to go, but my mom apparently like bid on two hours of this thing at an auction and won. So my whole family went. And, but it was not a golf simulator. They got like the larger area. So we had this, like, it was an end cap of these screens and it would like had these couches and like this, its own like private, like little restaurant area. Mm-hmm. So we oh. had like 15 of us that were there and we were all able to like hang out. But instead of golf, you could play things like soccer and archery and carnival oh. games. And baseball oh. and football and zombie killing. So you could like throw I things. I saw at this screen. at the group. I saw this at the I close friends. I am so sore. My right <gasps> arm, I cannot even lift From it. From slashing the, zombies? Yes, because the, you, you have to like come up with your own weapon. So I had, I tried a baseball, I tried the bow mm. and arrow, and then I got a volleyball. And I started spiking, con- like <laughs> constant spiking at these zombies. And I need ibuprofen and um, icy hot, like constantly. Mm, wow. It's bad. Yeah. What a workout. So, what a it, workout. Was, it was a workout. Was the, like, yeah, my body was the wasn't food good? That way. I didn't eat there. They ordered mm. a pizza. The pizza looked pretty good. Um, and they ordered some nachos and they looked awful. Like, I just don't understand how restaurants do not understand how nachos are done. Like, you cannot just put a baby layer on top of nachos. Like, you no. have to learn how to yeah. layer them properly. You have to layer properly. Yeah. It's like, like when you toppings. see someone. So whenever you go to the movies and you go to not Alamo Draft House, you go to regular movies. And you watch them make the popcorn and they layer the butter. That's how you yeah. do it. That's, that's they how you know. You gotta layer that butter. Or like if you have, it's just a, on top. If, or yeah, if you just do it on top, then you like, you do like lobster nachos where you create like a mountain on top. So people know to take like ones mm-hmm. from the bottom to dip in up front. I don't mm-hmm. know. It's, it's 2024. Figure out your nacho game. Uh, you know, yeah. what nachos I really liked. I really liked the nachos at Splitsville. I don't know. They just hit right had every good time. Food. I feel they like, did. Yeah, I always, and the, did I tell you that the Crab Ragoon sushi roll is back? <gasps> it's. Back. I remember. She's I back. remember when we found out that they they were gone, <laughs> and then we've never been to Splitsville since. And we've but never been back to Splitsville. <laughs> it is back wow. on the to, menu. I used to go there a lot. I liked going there. I like Splitsville. Um, um, I went. I saw poor things. And oh. it's just two hours of Emma Stone having Emma Stone being having, weird, having coitus. Yes, yeah, oh, finishing. Um, so it's a it's an interesting. I thought it was really interesting, and at least like like visually, mm-hmm. I thought it was really fun and having and I had a good time. But yeah, I. I saw a tweet that was like, y'all told me not to watch Saltburn, but nobody told me not to see Poor Things with my dad. <laughs> I, would not have, I would not have guessed that. Do you think her Golden Globe win was um, valid? 
Oh, I think so. I mean, like her performance, because it's just like, because the the way the performance is amazing, because mm -hmm. it's truly like she goes from being basically an adult baby to being like a f like she just like evolves and like yeah. learns more every day, and so like you really see that played in her performance of like, like it's it's so funny and like she's it's like so a good at it. It's give like a modern like Frankenstein so story, right? Yeah, give me a Reader's Digest, a two sentence. So basically, um, Emma Stone, Emma Stone's character um, dies, and Willem Dafoe's character, he's like a surgeon, and he finds her, and she's pregnant. So he takes the brain from the baby and puts <gasps> it into her body. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. What? And so. So she's basically like an adult baby, but this, but the the Willem Dafoe's character, he's like, he's he he'll like he has like a duck that has like dog dog legs, and like he's like a Doctor Frankenstein. Oh, yes, kinda. he's like he puts together all the, these creatures are mismatched and stuff. So so it's it's a very like wild and inventive world, but um but yeah but he, but she basically is like an adult baby, but then she like interesting. You know, grows from there. That's a but fun it's... concept for a movie. Yeah, I mean, I still I liked think. it. I think it, I it was there was parts of it that were like okay, but but I liked it. Interesting. Well, but speaking of babies, she, she did a good job. Yeah, speaking of babies, Goo Goo Gaga, of... how's that Owala? <laughs> Goo Goo Gaga, baby. This good baby. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of big babies, big well, baby. baby, watch it. Oh, watch, watch the it. Big. Watch the word big. Oh, Don't do oh. that. How was your lunch, Adam? What did you have for lunch today? <sighs> we have a really nice restaurant that does do lunch next to our place, and I just never go there. And today, I we had been talking about it yesterday, mm -hmm. and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself. So I went over there. I sat at the counter. They have a lovely lunch special where you do sandwich and they give you, you get a little, pay a little more and you get a cup of soup or a salad with it. You know, the Ooh, classic lunch yeah, special. Yeah. special. Manager right. special, a sizzler so, special, yeah. So I had their chicken salad sandwich. Much okay. better than chicken salad chick. Oh. Easily, I would easily <gasps> say that. You would say that wow. to the you chicken salad in chick? Front of me? In me? It's front the of chicken salad. <laughs> it's the most. <laughs> Brother. Buttered bread oh, that's yeah. warmed, oh, and then the chicken cold salad, chick, the, the bread chicken salad. It, chicken no, the, the bread, bread is, is not it. No, no, no. Um, so that was great. I had a gorgeous mush cream of mushroom soup, but like Ugh. with diced mushrooms and, cr and oh my god, uh, like fresh creme fraiche. A homemade cream of mushroom. There's Beautiful. nothing like it. Ugh. And that was great. And then I said, you know what? It's time to treat myself <laughs> for doing I don't know what. Surviving. And I day. said, I said, yeah. give me the damn skillet cookie. And I should have known that this guy, because this guy was like, really? And I was like, <laughs> yeah. He was like, okay. This should be eaten by four people. <laughs> was it like an actual, like a Rapunzel skillet? Like, it was not that big. It was not really okay. probably supposed to be shared by two um, I would, but like it's really pushing the limits of what like I could BJ's put in my body. Like BJ's size or bigger than BJ's size? B smaller than, smaller than deeper the though. It's a deep. Oh. She's a deep. A Chicago cookie. deep dish. Like, what she's, do you yeah, do? She's, sure. she's, she's Chicago. A, a Chicago dish. She's Chicago. And so, and it had <laughs> two massive, perfectly spherical globs of. Breasts. breasts of vanilla, of vanilla ice, ice cream. When you have <laughs> when you have two globs of ice cream on a if you've cookie got skillet, two, you, you know that's, that's not for me. That's not you for just know. me. Taking one of those scoops and taking it right off that plate. Put it in a cup. Yeah. Keep this in the fridge until so, I'm ready to leave. <laughs> and and it and she's chock full of chocolate chips. I mean, she's got chocolate chips coming out her butthole. She's stuffed with a tea at yeah. the end. And mm. so um <laughs> And so I, you know, did my best. I think I finished about three fourths of the cookie, 
You and didn't then, win the, that's, that's very you good. I, you didn't win the challenge. I didn't win. I didn't, <laughs> didn't not, take my you photo. Didn't take not, you didn't yeah. win the businesswoman special challenge. No. No. I had to <laughs> throw my bib off in defeat. Yeah. And um, he was like, the check? And I was like, sure. And I was really trying to keep it together. And I was walking back. Again, my office is two doors down. I was walking so slowly <laughs> back to the office. And I got to like the door next door and I was like, I think I'm going to puke. And then I was like, no, I can make it. So I got back and I sat down at my desk and I was just, I just did this. Oh, <laughs> the fact that Adam got 10 minutes. Adam chose a sensible lunch of like a chicken salad, chicken salad. sandwich and a cup of soup. And I ruined it with my I hubris. ruined it with a skillet a cooking for a family of four. <laughs> <laughs> on a Tuesday <sighs> afternoon. On a Tuesday. <laughs> on a Tuesday. <laughs> you know what? Live, live, Man. live your life to the fullest, girl. I'm yeah, glad I had the chicken you, salad no sandwich because if I had, if I had done the in, burger, we would be having, I would oh, not be on this pod today. No, girl. I would be at death's door. So. Look at this Man. little girl playing with his Christmas pickle. Girl, it's January. <laughs> Loves the pickle. Well, you got the Yule log on. I know he's so yeah. Confused. He was like, "Oh, okay, it's Christmas." <laughs> so Adam, anyway, well, that's Adam, look at let's, this. Let's, Adam, look at this. What do you do? Let's dive in to the content go for today. Go blur. <laughs> Woo! Go blur. Yeah. Go, go blur. Okay, go let's blurs. dive in. We've got a lot, a lot to cover up. We've got a lot cover to cover up. today. Yeah, we've got, we've got, we need some full coverage on those. On those ice cream breasts. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys want to do first? Should we do our 2024 prediction? Can we, can we, we quickly? Can uh, I bring up something that was not on the agenda? Oh, oh yeah. Sure. Have we seen the photo? Ma- Miranda did not comment about this, and I'm I don't know what to think. I don't know. Does she not like Asian people? I don't know what's going on. I literally said did you. I responded, and I said, I wonder how close they are in age. Oh, that was you. I thought that was Casey. Oh my god! Okay. Oh my god! Well, the question still stands. Got all fucked up. That cookie got me. Um, yeah, they released photos of, of the Maylee and uh, what's the mom's name? Mingli. Uh, Mingli. Sh- they released their uh, uh, they meet and greet too. today. Their Lunar New Year Adventure. meet and greet at DC. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Maylee is so cute. This movie came out. Did it come out in twenty two? Right. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. February 22. Interesting. A February um, release. That's screen. fascinating. Mm-hmm. It will soon They come look to... so good. Like whenever it's, it's we, a cute we watch, I watch videos and when she turns that tail is is plump. is plump, erect plump. and plump. <laughs> Not erect. <laughs> well, it's standing up. Well, it's standing up. She's saluting. I love this mean girl. See, here's the thing. I think sometimes with the more modern characters, such as uh, uh, Hiro, mm-hmm. it can be a little, is that a character, right? You can't, his clothes are a hoodie. Like this, it's like, like very Shang-Chi. clearly. <laughs> Shang-Chi yeah. very walking clearly. Yes. Shang-Chi walking Shang-Chi. by and we're like, oh, girl, that was Shang-Chi. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, right. th- that wasn't just some Diz nerd in a, Get up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry, Casey. Did we not cover you? <laughs> uh, so anyway, I just wanted to shout it out. I think they look great. I want to shout out costuming. I don't love this wig on Maylee, but they'll never do a lace but front. So it's, I, I'm it's, just going to have to go. At least it's cartoonishly red. It is cartoonishly yeah. red. Yeah. Yeah. And it does shape her head like and it the cartoon. Lo- it looks, so. She looks like she's 13. Like yeah. she yes. looks... I know. It's I want to see if it's her the entire time or the lineup that they have with these mm. roles, you know? I mean, what do you mean? Ha- what do you mean by that? Shut up. If they, friend, if, no, if she's I mean. the only friend. There's no. only if, one May Lee. Well, well May Lee, friends. you know, I wake up and I look different every day. And so <laughs> oh, no. May Lee is going to, I know. So May Lee's going to wake up one day and we're going to be like, oh, that's you interesting. You tell me May Lee's going to work every single day. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. She's got There's school. No she's she's got, got school. Yeah. Who are the They're others? They didn't bring Oswald back. 
Did anyone I'll check to see? Did anyone check to see if they're they're gonna these characters are gonna reference nine eleven now since they didn't in the film? Oh my god. Because that was a big sticking point that for was many bit, people yeah, online. No, like maybe yeah, we should do like a TikTok challenge. Was it and really? Miranda, Miranda can fly. You don't remember to... this? It was a whole. It was <laughs> yeah, a whole Miranda thing. flies it was, over. It wasn't a whole thing. I shouldn't say that. But there was like a viral review that was like, "It's weird for a movie to take place in 2002, 2002. and not reference 9/11." <laughs> First of all, they live in Canada. They live in Toronto. What are we talking about? What are we talking? Also, why about? would they talk about it? How would that get naturally brought up? <laughs> like it's like unless they went on a plane and they talked about security, it wouldn't make sense. Like yeah, there's no but reason for like, them to bring it up. Okay, like Friends didn't talk about nine eleven after it happened. You know, well that's they that's tried to remember there was that there was that they they, they, they did film. and yep they had to re yep refilm that rewrite that but no it's um, like the pandemic we're not going to talk yeah, about the great. pandemic you know. I, w- I hope so. I hope that's <laughs> let's, right. Let's stop talking about it. All right. Um, the other thing that I was going to share, there was the quick deedeet of the uh, new items coming to Magic Kingdom. Oh, yeah. I texted um, everyone. Bananas Foster Bananas Shake. Bananas Foster Shake. Okay. But let's talk about what everybody's talking about, and that's beignets are yeah, making their way to Magic Kingdom. <laughs> Casey, do not yell that. <laughs> God. <laughs> Yes, let's talk about this beignet. But is this all just for this? Just looks for Mardi Gras, right? This is all just for Mardi Gras, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like it. Because yeah. it's oh, gumbo. I, I saw somebody say it's... it was the Black History Month menu. Hmm. Oh, I guess because it's uh, all soul food. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I. I just. I, I literally right. just saw one story. I didn't look. I didn't look into it. I guess the beignets and gumbo. The... I was like, oh, it's all. Um, it's all yeah. like New Orleans, but no, I guess. Yeah, that's it's, I mean, it's. Yeah, it's very Cajun, New Orleans. Well, I think it's because I think it's because the rumor is on March first. That's when the ride opens, right? Well, people online are already being like, "It's it's not. It doesn't say late twenty twenty four anymore. It just says twenty twenty four. So it could be at any minute. So it could be at any minute, girl. Didn't something blow over? Didn't a roof fall over or something? Yeah, no. Well, there was the whole, there's that whole Imagineer, because they, um, they put all the f- greenery the around green, yeah. the mountain, and he was like, you know, if that's not securely put down, it could blow away at any minute. Yeah, that's how, bil- that's how things work. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Juneteenth is the rumor. Oh, maybe not for June- opening. I, there, <laughs> that would be not. bad. That's bad. Yeah. That's, let's not do that. Maybe not do Juneteenth. That's not. Oh, there's gross. no way. There's no way. I don't have Yikes. any faith that going from late 2024 to June is to possible June for this. When did company. this movie come out? Was it Thanksgiving? This was no December 2009. Oh, it was December. Okay, so it's like you could do it on the anniversary of the movie coming. Was out. Was it December? Mm-hmm. It was a Thanksgiving week. Oh, okay, Mm-mm, December. Mm-mm. I want to say December no, 9th. Sir. I could be wrong. Well, there you go. There's our. Well, that's our that's our calendar girl, calendar girly. She's our pinup. Playing that oh, magic. So are you looking it up? Are you are you fact checking me? December eleventh. Oh, crab top, crab topped Casey. Um. <laughs> okay. One okay, last so thing that we... was announced oh, today. Okay, okay. Look, today, Oscar Oscar noms are in. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah yeah. They're in. Miss Oscar. She's in. And so famously, everyone's everyone. everyone's talking, everyone is talking about Miss Barbie. Miss Barbie. Barb. I'm going to have to mute the word Barbie on my Twitter. <laughs> it's so yes. bad. I have an opinion. Okay. <gasps> oh, I have an opinion. Oh. Well, I have an opinion. Okay. <laughs> I am very upset that Greta was snubbed. I am that's just we have the exact this, same opinion we have the exact this, same opinion i think that and then, yeah margot yeah, robbie does yeah. not deserve to be nominated for best actress at the oscars <sighs> i because it was gonna famous, be a long famously yeah. a comedy like a, a comedy. movie like that it's typically not even ever nominated at Correct. the oscars yeah. yeah granted i would be more upset 
that Ryan Gosling or no, yeah, that's the right yeah. one. Ryan Gosling yes, was no, nominated correct, right. if America Ferrera was not because they are both nominated in supportive actor categories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's and again, I don't I haven't seen a lot of the I looked at the best actress and I was like, I don't even know who these people are like I am so far removed from all of that that's happening besides Oppenheimer like and Emma Stone like I don't know those films. I know nothing. We, we know this. But that's just yeah. that's just what I think. I think not not that I don't think she deserved it. I am not shocked that she didn't. I think she of yeah. course she deserves it. Like I'm sure she I'm was not, like sixth or seventh on the yeah. list. Yeah, I am not I am not shocked were... it didn't happen. I, I retract my statement. Of course I think she deserves it. She was phenomenal in the film. She was great. She but was phenomenal, but she uh, she is the she is the she's the straight man to Ken's funny man. Yeah. And that's always going to be viewed as less hard than what Ryan is doing as like the goof, the big goofy one. But it, and also like, I'm like, again, I don't know these films, but I was like, I was shocked that both America and Ryan were nominated in those categories. Like, I don't know. I just yeah. feel like the Oscars is always so serious and like never even bats an mm -hmm. eye at films like that. So that's I don't know. Like the, they just yeah, like the fact that like Jamie Lee Curtis won for every. For everything. yes, everything ever all at once. Oh, when yes, like, yeah. but like, but like, if you but, watch that movie, you would think that Stephanie should have probably won because she has yeah. the bigger. She's like, so much to that's, do. She's so much yeah. to do, and mm -hmm. she did it so well. But Jamie Lee's was more of a legacy situation. But ja yeah, yeah, Jamie exactly. Lee is like, let's give Jamie Lee a. And I feel that for it's time it the feels. classic Oscars. It's time. I do think it's crazy that which is how Sandra Bullock wins for The Blind Side. I think it's just crazy mm. that they refuse to the Oscars refuse to acknowledge Greta Gerwig as a as a as a director. Oh. They're like, give her as many writing nominations as possible. She's a great right. writer. It's like, girl, it's very bizarre. It's also such... this is like this this directory all the directorial choices in this. This is such a singular vision of what this movie should be. It is genuinely insane to me, and I don't I don't discredit any of the other directors. They I there are some great great movies that were came out this yeah. year um, yeah but like i just it's very it's weird it's just really weird mm -hmm. it's weird period yeah the oscars yeah, are my I least favorite i mean it's favorite. all like it's all politics it's all mm -hmm. like you know <laughs> it's up i had a i didn't have a great feeling though when they said that she would have to she, they couldn't submit for original screenplay. They had to submit under adapted, adapted screenplay because it's an IP. Just by just because, because it's an IP, oh, they couldn't submit under. Yeah, fascinating. Ew. Yeah, mm. which is crazy because none of yeah. that. I mean, like maybe then uh, it's it's. Uh, I'm yeah. trying to think of like what that would even entail. Like if. Haunted Mansion were was nominated. Like, would that have also been adapted because well, also, the Haunted Mansion? Yeah, it would yeah. have to be the attraction. It's also weird because I think Maestro was input as a an original screenplay, even though it's based yeah. on and someone's life. Bernstein's yeah. life. Yeah, yeah. I so how is that more that. original is, than a? I hate it. it I hate it all. It's so <laughs> icky. Ugh, no. Anyway, Bizarre. That's and what my, I think. The only good part about Maestro is when they show Snoopy twice. <laughs> so, oh, they do. <laughs> yes. So one of the like kids why? leaves Snoopy in in like the taxi, and Maestro comes in. You Maestro. Know, what's Mr. Maestro. <laughs> Mr. Maestro. Yeah, Mr. Maestro. Mr. Cooper Maestro. As Maestro comes in, he's like, "Which one of you left Snoopy in the car?" And then they're watching the parade go by. The like Thanksgiving oh, Day parade, the Macy's mm -hmm. and they and they. I was about to say, I bet it's the Macy's parade because why I've, else would Snoopy? Be I've heard it's. Uh, I've heard it's really like. Is it? Isn't Carrie Mulligan in that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard she she's nominated. like so mm -hmm. good in that movie. She's really good in it. Yeah. yeah. Um. It's it's just yeah the movie itself was you know we we saw it in a little theater and and it was instead of watching she, on Netflix. Yeah, because she's so a Netflix I, girly. Yeah, because it 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 went on. It was on Netflix, but then it came to theaters as well. But we all, you know, we got to see it in the theater. 
Um, you got but it. You gotta. But it was just, there was just like, I don't know, parts of it that were like, it was kind of disjointed in places, but. I'm so sorry that Wish wasn't nominated. Miranda, uh, Casey. Miranda, Casey. I mean, so let's sorry. cross our fingers for Elemental. It was my favorite. I haven't seen it yet. I, I said to Joe, we were literally talking about this today. And I was, I said to Joe, I was like, how are they going to have Elemental up there with the boy and the heron? The boy and the heron. Right. Like, and Spider-Verse. Like, Allegedly, are- Miyazaki's last film, The Boy and the Heron, <laughs> is yeah. swan sung. But don't they say, like, Elemental's, like, made the most out of... There was some, like... Yeah, like, in recent... Yeah, well, yeah, the yeah, most yeah. money made by an animated film this year was Mario. Yeah. And a but snub, I mean, like snub, they kept major snub. snub, major snub. Where is Chris Pratt? Where's yeah, Chris Pratt's leading role nomination? <laughs> yes, because Ryan released a statement about Greta yeah, he and did. Margo. He did, which I he thought was very He is such a class also, act. He yeah. is a class act. I love. But him. also, why? Where is Greta Lee for past lives and best actress? Right, that's, that's the question. question. Where is Laura. Greta Lee? Where what? the hell is Greta Lee? I'm gonna say it. Where is the color purple? Did no one like color Where's purple? Where's the color but purple? Me? <laughs> All they got was all they got was Danielle, Danielle which Danielle is truly like she is like unreal in it. Truly, it feels like you're not even watching someone act. It's so crazy. It's so lived in. It's great. Um, I wish it just had a little bit more. That's I'm fascinated by original song. What's going Oprah. on? Well, <laughs> what, who's nominated? Oprah and Taraji. Yeah, Oprah for fighting Taraji. Oprah. Right? Yeah, so I blame Oprah. What was I made for? And I'm just yeah. Ken from Barbie, okay. which I think mm-hmm. we knew those. Not two dance were the night happen. away. No, not dance the night away. Rude. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dua. Uh, You'll get your song- ego next time. <laughs> The song from Killers of the Flower Moon. I haven't seen the movie. Casey, any thoughts on Killers of the Flower Moon? It's incredible. Yeah, it's I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. Apple, the Apple song, Tino? Miranda. Miranda, it is a very violent movie, though. I don't know. Yeah, you <laughs> oh, I, you won't be. Oh, able I'm to not watch. watching any of these films ever. <laughs> like we know this, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I have opinion. But I but have, I opinions. have opinions. We should, yeah, because remember we were gonna do Barbenheimer, and you were like, "No, I can't do it." I don't think it I never could. went away. The AC <laughs> From... went out in the theater. Oh, that's right. The AC wasn't working at Oppenheimer. <laughs> it never went away from American Symphony, which is John Baptiste. Jim... Yeah. Mm. And then the fire inside from Flame and Hot music and lyrics by Diane Warren. Flame and Hot, you may remember, is the auto, is the biopic about the people who made the Flame, Flame and Hot, Hot Cheetos. Oh my god, incredible! Does this mean <laughs> Ryan Gosling is performing "I'm Just Ken" at the Oscars? He, I I doubt he's going to say yes. I'm sure. It'll Why? Be I hope he asks Margot and Greta to do it. I hope he. Gets all of the Mickey Mouse, all, the Mickey the Mouse whole club. Clubhouse. Bring them back. <laughs> We're bringing them all back for this number. Sure. The so the song from Killers of the Flower Moon. It was composed and performed by a bunch of Oklahomans. Wow. Okay. Okay. Boomer sooner. I but, just can't believe it's Diane Warren's like thirty sixth nomination yeah. or whatever. Yeah, and they're never gonna give. They're her never one. gonna give her one. They're gonna nominate her every year, and they will never give her one. Um, I that do. Flaming hot though. That is Eva Longoria's first directorial, uh, picture. <gasps> she directed Flaming Hot. Oh, where can gri- I, where well, is, I don't know. Where's Flaming Hot? Yeah, what streaming is Flaming? Where can I stream her? Flaming Hot. Inspiring um, true story. Searchlight. Oh, Hulu. Oh, Hulu and, guess and what? Disney it's Plus. It's an hour and thirty nine minutes. I mean, that, it deserves it for that just the alone. Oscar. Yeah, where's <laughs> that category? Yeah. Shortest. Fi- that oh. There are short. There are short. Not, not shortest. Let it should be efficient. Like- most efficient, Most efficient full efficient. film feature How length. How much can film. you pack yeah. in? Like Oppenheimer, absolutely not. You are not even close to being no. nominated. 
Flop. Barbie, yes. <laughs> mean Flop Girls Iver. under two, you're nominated. You know? Yeah. All these things. But, you know, you're getting there, Mean Girls. If you'd, maybe if you if you kept a couple more songs, maybe. Maybe. Um, yeah. So I think my biggest, I really, I, I, I wish Color Purple had more. That's kind of like my biggest Yeah, one. that is a bummer. And I am excited to see, I saw... Uh, clips about Robot Dreams. That was the other animated feature film. It's more like it's like two D animated. It's really cute about a robot. Hmm. And also, a dog. can you go to um, feature or uh, best actress and the holdovers? I want to watch the holdovers. Holdovers on leading Peacock. Role. Stream holdovers now. On Peacock. You got Peacock. Stream now. I do got Peacock. Uh, very exciting for Lily Gladstone. She is the first, first um, Native American. Native American. Native American. Yeah. United States actress. Native American actress nominated for. for Do you best think actress. she'll win since she won the Golden Globe? It's between her and Emma Stone for sure. Oh, really? I think it's. Yeah, I think Lily and. I don't know. I I feel like. I feel like they could. There's just something about like Anatomy of a Fall has been getting. At, it's it's had you know this buzz and mm-hmm. i feel like they could be a curveball but i think lily's gonna get it because i think her performance is so powerful and so impactful it it, it just doesn't it's not even in the same like playing field as any of these other ones like i think emma's performance is great in poor things and carrie mulgan really i don't think emma i don't too. think they'd give emma another but one i don't think they give it to emma it, I think it's too early in her. Have you seen? You know, have you seen so Nyad? I haven't seen that, and I was asking Joe, and he didn't know it, or he didn't. I haven't it. even heard of it until I feel like today. It's about the woman who swam from Cuba to Florida. Oh Slay, my gosh. and it's Annette Benning who swam. Oh my god! I won't even get in has, a shallow pool. Like, <laughs> has, has Jody? Oh my god! Won a, won a Jody's. Jody's won too. Jody has won. She won for She's um won several. She definitely won nominations. for. Uh, she won for um the Miss mo- Girl. Miss Girl, ninety two, nineteen ninety two. Uh-huh. Come on, so, the one, Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then and she won for, for the accused. accused. Yep. Yes. Back to back. No, not okay. back to back. A few years away. Yeah. Since since she's already got a couple, I'm not so worried about her. And she, her last, but her last nomination was 95. She hasn't been nominated since 1995, which is crazy. Which means she wasn't nominated for Contact. Should we ask Katya how she feels about that? (laughs) She was not nominated for Flight Plan. She wasn't nominated for Flight Plan. Killian Murphy. Killian Murphy. Flight Plan. Mm. Killian Murphy. um, uh, Oh my God, what is that dream movie (laughs) that I really liked, but you didn't? Inception? Yes. (laughs) Oh yeah, um, uh, the dream movie. Um, the dream movie. Looking at the supporting roles, um, I w- I need Daniel. I Brooks didn't even know this. Emily Blunt was in Oppenheimer. I didn't know this. She's Mrs. Oppenheimer. I think. Do you know who's She's... in Oppenheimer? And I lost my mind. In Josh a... Peck. Oh, is he really? Josh Peck. Yes, I do. Remember. Is in Oppenheimer. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry, I do not detest anyone more than Josh Peck for some oh. reason. I am Josh on Peck. The Josh Peck is your Darren Chris. I... <gasps> oh, fascinating! Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I know. I I can't. I, lis- I listen to Josh Peck's audiobook, and it's it's like ninety percent talks about how he used social media to like. To, to stay relevant and make money, oh, like girl. he was, he bit, it like it's like three fourths of the book is literally him just talking about um being a social media influencer and how that makes him. Ew. Money now. Oh, I, okay. it like it's like one fourth about his like drug addiction, and then being an influencer. It's the wildest book, but I listen to all of it. <laughs> Speaking um, of, no. I'm still waiting for my, um, for Libby to serve me, um, Miss, <laughs> Miss, what's that? What is that girly's name? I I I signed up for you know Libby this week, Kanye's and I have ex? Uh, Kim Kardashian. Yeah, 
I actually Julia Fox. Julia Fox. Julia Fox. Julia Fox. Oh, Julia Fox. Kanye's ex Kim. <laughs> um, Adam, do you want to go through the best pictures and then we'll say, are we going to watch them? <laughs> will Miranda watch this? Oh. So uh, it up? No, I was just going to see. I haven't. I don't know anything about Zone of Interest. What Zone, is Zone of, of Interest? Interest is the it's the Nazi film where he builds a dream home next to a concentration camp. It, yeah, and it's, it's about, about oh, people the guy who, who lives, the guy oh, who li- works there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So we. No. I remember talking about this with Allie and Christine. No, I will not watch that. But okay. Anatomy of a Fall. It's it's honestly like that uh, Elizabeth Olsen show you watched. It's about like a woman being framed for the a murder. Is somebody someone fell, right? axed in the head and you see it? I think it's all about the post, like, tr- but yeah, I don't know. Okay. You oh. thought you thought it was gonna be just about figuring it out, and then they showed you how. I she still have PTSD out. from it. <laughs> Um, oh I've my heard, god! I really want to see holdovers. Know. I've heard really good things about. I holdovers. feel like I would watch holdovers. I feel like that is something I would. You would like holdovers? It's a very like cold weather. Yes, movie to watch. Movie. So he's, if it's so like it's still on the ground. It's like Paul alive. Giamatti has to like. He's gonna be there. He's for like three months. he's like snow trapped in like a boarding school or something like that. He right? Works at a, he's a teacher at a boarding school, and um, they go. It's about it's, Vietnam, right? It's no. Oh. It's holiday break. <laughs> and okay. there are certain kids that yeah, in the boarding school that their parents don't pick them up. And so those are the holdovers. So, stay, uh, so there's one teacher every, you know, year that has to stay has with to them. Stay. And it's Ooh, next, what's turn. next? American fiction. That's I heard this one actually one. was funny. Yeah. You would oh, I it's think funny? You, I mean like yeah. Is American fiction the one that has multiple endings? Yes. <laughs> okay. What That's do you mean? I it's like a choose it. your own adventure movie? Mm. Uh, no. no, but it's not very clear how it ends because it's about yeah. it's about a fictitious thing that happened to this guy. You don't know In what America? the ending is. No, okay. he, he yes. writes as an author. He's, He's an, an author, author and none of he his writes books a are book. selling. So yes. You're not yes. selling me. I need a one sentence sell me on watching okay. it and I am not. It's an author. He writes a book that's like satirical, but it ends up like blowing up. Because people think it's like real. Okay. It's like a fic- yeah, fictitious it. thing, but he, he he's he makes like a fictitious like it's like a, a he uses a pen name so no one knows it's him, and he acts as this author that's like and this you know like what? guy from the hood that's like okay. an I, ex I, I'm, you know gang member. There's, we've got like seventeen <laughs> more. What's next? Issa Rae is in it. It's a Issa good Rae one. and Tracy Ellis Ross is in it. So Tracy Ellis go. Ross. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I do like Tracy Barbie, Hill. Killers of the Flower Moon. I've already said Maestro, the Leonard Bernstein, Bradley yes, Cooper I know movie. Ones. I won't watch it. Oppenheimer, okay. Past no, Lives. I, watch it. I still need to put Past Lives. I'm gonna yeah, watch, watch Past Lives. You would lives. love Past Lives, Miranda. It's about um, two. Okay, two like f- childhood lovers. Like they had crushes on I each other. I love that trope. Oh, <laughs> got it. Um, reunite like years later. But while she's already with someone else. While she's already married, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I like this. This is like one of my favorite books to read. Yes. Okay. What's that on? Her name's Greta Lee. Greta Lee is the actress, and she's very good. It's a really, it's a really like. How can I watch? It's a really lovely. So I felt, so I was looking more about past lives. I think it's on Hulu or it's on a streamer. I don't think so. Um, the, The writer and director of it, Celine Song, um, did in the pandemic did a did a um cherry orchard on sims 4 and like streamed it oh. under like the new york theater so i Amazing. thought that was fun okay what? um What's next yeah she staged <laughs> she staged like the the cherry orchard or seagull one of the it's one of the other um poor things we already talked about and then the zone of interest mm-hmm. the nazi film that's okay. it there you go all 10 all 10 good for them um, who was it? Lushri said, "Can't believe there was a movie about Cheetos. What are we doing?" Well, guess what, Mimi? They're doing a movie about Pop Tarts in 2024. So I'm so into it. There you go. They listen to the group chat. They do. All what right. Shall we? Shall we dive into our next? Yes. So our next thing we're doing is we're going to make Past oh. Lives is not streaming anywhere, but you can 
uh, rent it on Apple TV Plus. Rent. There you go. I'm not doing that. I'll wait. <laughs> Um, we are doing our 2024 predictions. We did 2024 ins and outs, but I want to do predictions so that way a year from now we'll play it and laugh and at And let's how, keep it light. Let's wrong. keep it Let's breezy. keep it light. We're not doing election, okay? We know it's oh, an election year. Fuck Mer- no. So Miranda. <laughs> Miranda. Oh. Delete, 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 Miranda. delete, delete. Oh, I just deleted my... <laughs> Control Z, control Z, control Z, girl. Oh, control Z. Got him. Whew, shit. Oh Got God. him. Jesus. Okay. Let's go youngest right. to oldest. So, Casey, would you like to as start Gen as our Gen Z representative? Gen Z, girly. <laughs> How many does everybody okay. have? Um, I wrote a little list. I it's like I wrote a little I wrote list. Five. I wrote a Four little. to five. I have also. Yeah. Five. I have five as well. Great. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Um, my prediction is. Gypsy Rose Blanchard and her husband will not last. <gasps> ah, that's my Ooh. first one too, Casey. <laughs> Gypsy Rose Blanchard gets divorced. Number one. Divorced. Wow. That is divorced. literally my first one. Divorced. I divorced also, divorced. that immediately when RJ was like, we have to do these, I was like, well, clearly they're not going to last. Yeah. It's Oof. not happening. That puppy wow. ain't going to save you, girly. You're uh-huh. already bored in Louisiana. She's uh-huh. already bored. She's she gonna get like all a- these letters from these gentlemen callers. This man is gonna get jealous. She's gonna download. She's, um, gonna, download, she's gonna download yeah. a dating app. She's, she's from gonna Missouri, make an originally, only right? fan. Or they moved around. This. I almost wish that she didn't get married. I almost wish she got like a PR team that's like, "We'll book yep. you, girl. We know you want to do. Let's have fun. You no, deserve it." PR teams knew. <laughs> And look where we are. Two weeks later, nobody likes her and nobody trusts her. <sighs> they should. Messy. She needs to move to like a big city where she can get lost in the crowd. Just in terms of like, That's she should not move. be oh. a big local well, celebrity. She's, there's a she's there's a poem her, in that Adam. during her Ooh. parole. Oh no. right. I don't think they're gonna let her move. Wow, bold, bold, bold. Casey. That's bold, bold. All right, what, that was a good boy, one. What else? Second. What else? What else you got, girly? Oh, we're going. No, let's do all of them. Round robin. Round robin. Oh, round robin. Okay, okay. Kate, Miranda, you're next. Others. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was it. I'm oh, Miranda, RJ? that was your. You're doing your. Okay, RJ. What's mine? I said, even though they he had a great showing at Saturday Night Live, I think. I don't think Jacob Bellordi's, um I don't know. I feel like people are, it's just something's going to happen this year and people are not going to like him. And then like, he's going to be like um, Noah Centineo. That's my fear. That like no yep. one kind of remembers Someone's- him or like he doesn't do anything unless he and really also- just like focuses on like acting, like getting gigs. Yeah. Because also he wasn't great on SNL. He was just tall. Yeah. And he was game for all the jokes that they wrote about him. You know what I mean? Like all the jokes were kind of like, it's because I'm like tall and hot. Yeah. That was the whole show. That was the whole show. I the bowling. So I know he's on salt burn. I know that. He was in Euphoria. Euphoria. Yeah. And Euphoria. Euphoria. Yeah. Other than that. And he used to date Lori Loughlin's child. Yes. Olivia and James. And he was in the kissing booth one, two, and three. <laughs> Hello. Oh, yeah. Don't forget your roots, Jacob. Uh-huh. Okay. With yeah. Miss, um, with Miss uh, Gypsy Rose herself, Joey King. <laughs> Joey King. Oh, Joey King. <laughs> Joey King. Okay, yeah. Adam, do you have that's one? A, that's a good prediction. I yeah. think there is going to be a movie release this year that we will learn the script was written by AI. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. That's a good prediction. I think that's going to happen. I think For it's sure. going to make a ton of money and there's going to be like a huge backlash when people find out. But I think it's going to happen because we, we had a it. whole strike. So I, I have the a feeling thing. somebody in somebody in thing. one of the They've studio offices something. was like, well, what if I just told Chat be GPT to write me a little movie? Write, write me a yeah. film. Write me a film. Yep. Casey, do you have another one? Girls? Um, I did have I was I was just gonna say I was just gonna riff off of like Renee Rapp is gonna I mean like sh- she started off the year so strong. big 
Yeah. And I I think she's got good things coming, but I don't know what they are. I don't know either. You know, because it's like she's not really she's obviously hasn't been like booked anything else that we know of as far as like movie wise. She is very, you know, into her singing career, but I don't think that's the thing that's going to. You know, I don't know you've, if it's going to You've listened to her pop music, right, Miranda? Yeah, I love her. Is it good? Yes, she's very good. Okay. Is it like Olivia Rodrigo, like, oh, this is a moment? Catchy? Or... No. It's not as catchy as Olivia, um, but it's still, like, very good. And she's, it's kind of, like, on the same level as Sabrina Carpenter, where they, like, have great audiences and they have, like, stands everywhere and so all of the shows are very well sold and they're not like arena tours by any means Mm -hmm. but they have a really great fan base and they put on amazing shows um yeah it does feel like there's something big that's still she's got i mean she's she's still got the world in the palm of her hand right now she does so i'm just like it's almost just like a i'm i'm interested to see what she does this year with it because she has this power so i don't want to predict anything for her I feel like she's got to get back on Broadway. She's got to get a Tony nom. It does feel that way, right? Like, I don't think she wants to, but it's... If the right role... It's very interesting watching her clips pre-Mean Girls, like her more theater clips, because it's like, oh, it feels like you're a good... Not that you're a different person. She is a different... But she's admitted that. She's like, I don't even know who that person is. I mean, yeah, if all you were doing was musical theater in high school... You know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, Miranda of, next. Oh. <laughs> I speaking of Broadway, Ooh. I think Ariana Grande will star in a Broadway show with Ethan Slater. <gasps> I feel like they will be. <laughs> yes. SpongeBob and I think Sandy they cheeks. will be on Broadway in the same show together at one point. Interesting. Do you think like an original girly or no, I, a I, revival I, girly? I, I, you, you I haven't just thought anything. Feel... I think that's all. I just think they will be on that's the stage together. That's all I think. That's all I think. They're gonna, they're gonna, or they're gonna take over in Hamilton, and he's gonna be the first white white Hamilton, Hamilton. <laughs> and she's gonna oh, be amazing. she's gonna be the <laughs> first well, she's Italian. A, yeah, Angelica. I was gonna say she's obviously Italian ex. Yeah. Peggy yes. slash Angelica. <laughs> Italian X is that what yeah. you just said? Italian X, help. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I watched SpongeBob uh, last week. You did the, the, the new, pro shot? It's an the new incredible movie? musical. Oh. It's, it's shockingly shot, so it's good. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. Like, I've yeah. heard people say, like, critically, like, people I would listen to their opinions, and they like SpongeBob better than Hamilton. Wow. But yeah, wow. I didn't like Patrick though. It was he was gross to look at. <laughs> yeah, well, Patrick's not supposed that's the, to be that's the easy point. on the eyes. Yeah. Well, that's uh, but the problem is that's Casey's type is a no, Patrick. It's Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, she wasn't attracted I, to Patrick. I think it was Stephanie. She, I I remember our um when we watched uh, SpongeBob the girl who played Karen, the computer wife, was like someone big, but I don't remember her anymore. Yes, anyway. I do. Yes. I, was it I Stephanie know, Shue? Yes. It, or? Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh. She's going to go get her playbill. She's play getting playbills. Play oh, yes. Oh. yes. One of my three. One of your three. Oh, albums. I was like, one of your three playbills in there. <laughs> oh, no, girl. RJ. When did I see SpongeBob? Um, I have a D deet. The same year you saw Frozen. The same year you saw Frozen. Twenty twenty eighteen, I believe, or twenty seventeen. Um, I have a D deet prediction. Okay, let's let's hear it while she looks for this playbill. I think Mufasa is gonna be the girl. I don't know. I oh, think the movie, the yeah. prequel movie, P- Mufasa. I think Barry Jenkins is going to do it. I think he. I think it's going to be. I think it's going to. I think it's going to make waves. Let's say that. I think In it's going to be. Way? Yeah, I think it's. We're going to be surprised. <laughs> you got to clarify, girl. At how good it In a it good will end way? up being. 
Miranda's so eager to see Bufasa. I have high hopes for Bl- I for Jenkins. I am horrified for it, to be <laughs> honest. Um, yeah, it is Stephanie. <gasps> wow. Adam, we saw an Academy Award well, nominee. nominee. Technically, we've seen um, <laughs> Sally Field. As we saw Karen Sally the Field. computer. Karen the computer. Wow. Um, okay, Adam. back to me. Back to Adam. Okay. Wicked part one. Mm. Oh. Oh. Is going to not be certified fresh on Rotten <gasps> Tomatoes. Tepid, just plain Tepid pasta response. sauce. Wow. Like a 70%. Marinara, just plain. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I think I think the expectations are too big. They. Yep. I think the expectations are too big. And they're going to have to fill one act of that show with like three hours worth of yes. material. <sighs> Wrong. John um, Chu. I think it's going to be a lot of CGI. Lindsay, I think Lindsay Lohan is going to release a new album. Oh. 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 Oh, okay. You said Lindsay. I said Avril. <laughs> Avril oh. is touring currently. Oh. Yeah, I think I I, here's a prediction. To a concert of her, S Club Seven is going to push off their tour date again. <laughs> okay. Absolutely, <laughs> I think I. You know what? I think that will actually. I, happen. Yeah, I'm sorry, I will right. agree. The S feeling. Club concert is not going to happen. Um, yeah. we'll You're going to get a nice a little month. refund. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, that's a good. When that's is a good that concert prediction. again? February twentieth. Okay. On a Thursday, we're gonna a get a Thursday. we're gonna get a text from Rana Bang. Well, <laughs> not coming well, again. <laughs> it's gonna be that Monday of that week. Oh my god! Well, I don't have. I'm at least I'm driving. You know, like it's not like I have a flight to. Anyway, <laughs> who else, who's next? Um, case is just uh, riding the waves, babe. Yeah, case yeah, is I'm just, just riding the waves. I feel like. Um, I don't know what else I have. I don't think I, I have anything say, else. If you don't I have would, one, you don't we don't need to force it. I know, but I I just want to I just want to be, you know, involved. And- Will you I think there's I have another prediction. Mm-hmm. Uh the Summer Olympics are this year in Paris. I think they're going to have another bed bug outbreak in Olympic Village. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so I funny. love it. <laughs> I love it, babes. That's funny. Um I think we are going to get a, an announcement of a closure of a beloved Walt Disney World attraction. I don't know which one, but I feel like they're going... I don't know which one, but I think it'll be in Future World. <laughs> I feel... We're, are we... We're, we have D23 this August? Yes. Mm. And they're going to say, now here's our blue sky. What you know, we could possibly... say now. there could be Let villains you, back the there. The definition of blue sky is... Um, yeah, I do think they're going to announce the closure of something. Close, close an attraction Perhaps right now. Perhaps do it. Per, go uh, do it. I dare you. Stage. Yeah, well, that needs to go. That, so go, I mean, fine. but it hasn't. Theater, girl. The fact that yeah. this thing has not moved. Yeah, I, they it's can't gut that theater. They they now are the using it for opened. Jollywood Nights. There, mm. it's wild how they have not redone it yeah to something else um i think they are never i'm i'm going to say this is my prediction <laughs> i think we are going to end 2024 and they have not fixed the light up ground at epcot i think we're going to go the whole year Girl, and they still have not fixed the light up ground i think they're never gonna fix it girl casey doesn't care casey's checked out <laughs> I'm not, yeah I'm not renewing like, my. Uh, I think well, I'm not renewing my. Here's class, my prediction. So I don't care. <laughs> my, prediction my prediction is Casey is not. <laughs> I yeah, be there, my girl. prediction is Casey will not be at any Disney park in 2024. It's not in the oh. cards, Mama. It's not in the cards, Mama. Um, I think maybe a diff- maybe a different IP Disney Broadway production. Ooh. Mm. Well, because they're doing Hercules in the West End, right now, right? 
Or they're about to? I just saw them perform. I just saw the muses perform in something in the UK. So um, they're gonna they're doing the Moana on stage for the for the Tweza. For the Tweza. For the Tweza. I predict at when Adam and I go are we gonna go in on story living together? (gasps) Yes, twenty twenty four. Twenty twenty four story tire. I already have a real thing. You already signed okay, okay, perfect. perfect. We're set. (laughs) <laughs> we're but wait to live in palm springs so. um i'm, I'm predicting that adam and i when we come back from korea and are gonna be very Manila, depressed. we're gonna be very depressed it's gonna be real bad mm-hmm. yeah let's prepare ourselves now let's prepare ourselves now for you, you also should, you two are just you gonna be do. running the pod for like three weeks by yourselves oh, God. you should honestly sh- i think <laughs> the listeners may want that you know <laughs> <laughs> now that it's just a <laughs> squirrel <laughs> friends a little, a little break um casey no, how about a how about a yeah. casey how about a uh how about a drag race prediction we're three weeks <gasps> in Ooh. who's winning the season who's winning the season um yep. Go Let's big. see whose names do i remember plain jane <laughs> is one of them she's a um, girl Zan no, is there no there's not one named Xanax. Plasma is one I of them. You were gonna say I don't Xanadu. know. I don't know who's winning because I'm not watching Mama. <gasps> Again, I don't have the TV. No. Oh, right. You know sure. what I'm watching? Love on the Spectrum. And I've watched it twice in its entirety. You gotta this get weekend. on you gotta get on this VPN. I predict you gotta get on this in VPN. Twenty twenty four Casey gives in and gets T V. Like, cable. She gets get, cable. You can predict by February 2024 I'll get this TV. <laughs> I, I yeah. watched Love on the Spectrum twice in a weekend. You, you y'all, got y'all got to watch Love TV. on the Spectrum. Season you ask, two. Ask Joe. Call him in. Ask him to get you some TV. My prediction is that Casey will find a new thing, a new IP to start buying. Mm, yes. Mm. What could it be? What could it be? I think she's going to get back into Furbies. <gasps> I mean, the return of Furby. Is there like I a mean, outside of My Little Ponies? Is there like a horse IP um, that has multiple things? No. <gasps> wow. Yeah, I mean, wow. That's the gateway. That's the gateway. That's the gateway. And I ordered the kick worthy Furby bucket hat. <laughs> but I think worries. I think you're no. I think there's a shelf of Furbies about to coming. Happen. Yeah, there is about They're to happen. There. <laughs> I can't see, see it. it. It's off cam. Wow. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I think. Well, your prediction came true, Miranda. Look Miranda at that. Miranda that. Our first point. Hey. The first my, point. I win. My gizmo Furby. Yeah, the gizmo yeah. Furby. I do remember that one. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> Any personal predict? Oh, you predicted that you're going to be depressed. I think We're what you be need depressed. to do is you need to plan something. Like within the few weeks that you're home, you need to plan a, like a weekend getaway somewhere that you're looking forward to something that will get you out of whatever sleep you're about to feel. Yeah. Whether it be like what, a concert you... in a different city, I something I think you need to plan that. We yeah, we go. should create a family. We need a close calendar. friends count. Yeah, we need a family close friends calendar. We need a family when calendar. Are you going? Basically, trips in May, May, just We're, the whole of May, a lot of May. Yeah. I'm gonna Three create weeks. one right now. Well, hey, I'll Perfect. be there in June. We'll go to the American Girl Cafe. Oh, oh there you go. There, there that's right. There it is. That's y'all right. Y'all have to release something for close friends while you're there. Oh yeah. I can't yeah. do it without you. Yeah. Not without me. Um, I predict that Miranda will watch a horror movie this year. Much to her what? own chagrin. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a surprise. It's going to be like a parasite where it starts off normal and then halfway through she's like, what's happening? What's happening? Did That's she just die? Happen. Yes, girl. Hmm. Stay sad. She's like fascinating. Did they just die? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, plugged in. Plugged in. Plugged in mm-hmm. on her little chair on the corner. <laughs> um, I'm saying right now, I'm not getting into the Sunny Angel craze. And y'all can. <gasps> this is what my. What is this? Oh, Adam, this is the Sunny my, Angels. Is um, That's where you draw the line? 
I can't These do it. These little because cuties. They're so hard to find. Oh, like, they are. The fact that like it's very hard to find the sunny angels are these little naked they babies. Are. These that the have naked fruit babies. on their heads. Yeah. Um, you have to go to like obscure like Asian collection stores like Miniso or whatever, store Daiso. Called, um Toy Joy in Austin that sells them, but every time they get them they sell out. I got two for my niece for Christmas and I somehow like lucked upon like the last like five that they had in stock. But they had they I'm had not... the little toy store at City Walk, remember? That they also had them. The, the... Mm-hmm. I remember yeah. that toy store. Yeah, they're little naked babies. Yeah, I, I, you gotta hide the pee pee. I'd really you like do have to, to stop hide the saying pee-pee. naked babies on That's our channel. That's what they are. I do the the he- the heads when it's food. That is really cute. The one with the like My the strawberry niece has shortcake. A whole Ugh. collection of them. The one that's but like I'm not breakfast. Doing it. I'm. This is my deposition. This is my. Um, <laughs> what about um, me in front of Congress? I'm not yes. doing it. Oh, are you, you getting yes. into precious I moments? I think or Casey's, willow tree angels. Casey's, Casey's got a few Ooh, more years. Willow trees. Casey's got a yeah. few more years before precious moments. I'm not in precious moments time. Willow yet. tree angels. Oh. Hey, at least it's not gnomes. That's true. Don't get into gnomes. Don't get please. into gnomes, my, Casey. My mom. Now it's my mom will get them at. The freaking Marshalls, and I just... Yes, Marshalls. <laughs> all the gnomes are at Marshalls. They're at it's Marshalls, all they're inside. at Ross. They're everywhere now. Oh, I Let's also see. think... I think 2024 is the year we officially drop Daylight Savings Time. Or we go <gasps> permanent Daylight Savings Time. I thought we have already like vetoed that. I thought they tried and failed. No, Senate just never voted on it. Mm. Oh, I thought they did. The House voted. voted on it. Or... W- one of the one of the chambers voted on it, but the other one didn't. That's my guess. Okay, well, this was so much fun. Thank you for watching. As and always, twenty twenty four is the year of Snoopy. Great, the year of Snoopy. Yeah, the girls love him. Oh, you think Snoopy's set to return, come back? He never left, but yes, yeah, Snoopy is the girl. <laughs> Oh, is it Garfield this year? Oh, Garfield is this year. The animated Garfield. Chris Chris Bratt. Chris Bratt. Chris Bratt. What? We should have picked him as an out for 2024. We really should have. We, we really should have. Yeah. We've got to get him out. we got to get him out, out, guys. We, we, he's been out to us we, for that long. Do we think Renee Rapp will be a troll? A DreamWorks troll? <laughs> Yeah. That'll be great casting if they do. They Probably. need it. They, yeah, that's good. They need They're a vocalista. People, they need a that is, vocal Gen Z girly. That's like the only thing Anna Kendrick is doing right now, which is yeah. weird. Right? Which, what is that's her all career? she's got to do. She's just collecting checks. At she this is point. just collecting. Yeah. She trolls was on that me. HBO Max show, and then she is like, "I'm done. I've made enough money." She was on that stupid ass movie Jace made me watch the other day. <laughs> I don't even oh, know yeah. what it was called. <sighs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I didn't like that movie. It got a low rating like on my movie. letterbox. I'll make a prediction. I think someone we know will be on a reality show, whether it's like a dating show or like a bachelor. Who is it, RJ? What do you mean? No, not me. I think I someone we know. How close? Like maybe someone we knew from college. But you, you said I mean, you already I, know someone? Yeah, I had a high school classmate who I was friends with in high school who was on The Bachelor. I would also, say I think there's this... nobody that we know that's going to be on the Bachelor. We're like ten years older. Than maybe, all not bachelor, maybe not Bachelor. Maybe not Bachelor, now. but like uh, some whatever new show rolls along. Wheel of there's... Fortune, People Puzzler, you know, uh, Jer- Jerpity, Jerpity. The... I mean, I think y'all y'all are still the circle. In the tax bracket Someone's going to be in the circle. Getting someone on um, Love Is Blind or the Circle. I think we could. I think uh, we could see someone in the circle. Mm-hmm. Or the real world? Are they still doing real worlds? No, or are they just doing really. challenges now? They're just doing they challenges. They have enough people. <laughs> yeah. They're like, we the don't world need to is see real what, enough. We don't need to house people for three months and see what happens. We have the Jersey Shore. Freelex said Casey, Joe's brother on Survivor. Is your is oh, your yeah. is he's gonna be on Survivor? He keeps he keeps working on his tape. He's <laughs> trying, so 
<laughs> Fingers crossed. So Fingers it could crossed. happen. So it could happen. Mm-hmm. All right. He's working on that tape. Do we want to go off or do we feel? No, I, feel I, I think oh, we, we all have go offs. Yeah. Yeah. Adam technically already did with that skillet cookie. All right, we're gonna. I want to t- go first. <laughs> that okay. wasn't a go off. That was a go out, honey. Oh, girl, that was a uh, an exodus. Okay, Casey, it's time to go off. Okay, this is a divisive one, and I think that Miranda might not like me for this one. But we need to stop talking with those TikTok hands. If I see people doing this. Do, doing do the mean? little like it's like a th- this the when they're talking on the TikToks and they do this with their hands, the little I it's don't like a little it's like a little duck or puppet looking thing. Miranda I don't does think it. I'm on that. I do it. I yes. talk with my hands in general. But you clap. I talk like with my hands TikTok in general. Girlies. But I, I haven't done that because of TikTok. That's just how I talk. No, She's got nails. That's you've been influenced. You didn't <laughs> even subconsciously. Know it. Subconsciously. Tell me when. Tell me where. Subliminal. When, I, when I've done it. Where on a TikTok? Every week on this pod. Girl, it's the videos like, are the on case. YouTube. Ro- roll so the then, case. Casey, go off about me. Go off about me right now because you're <laughs> calling me out directly. Queen. <laughs> directly. <laughs> Listen, I was. <laughs> if you don't think that you're doing it, then you're not doing it. <laughs> So I'm I don't even know what the fuck it. I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I just talk with my hands. Uh, that's just who I they, am as a human. They take their four. This is me, Casey. This is and me. And they press it to their thumbs like a little puppet. And they talk. It's Kermit they, hands. They, it's, Kermit. it's like they're scooping. And it's, I can't, I'm just, I'm done with the TikTok hands. That's all. It's not, uh, Miranda, it's not about you. It's about the other girls. Mm. Then why'd you call me out, babe? (laughs) 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 Why did you call me out? Because sometimes your hands get the clasp. That's, that's just when she writes Tower of Terror. That's the only class. Yeah. This, this is PTSD. <laughs> this is, this is my trauma, Casey. This How is dare my you? Trauma. How dare? I'm going to talk to my therapist about tra- that this week. Generational trauma. <laughs> Miranda, Miranda, what the hell's your? What go is off? your go off? You know what? <laughs> oh my god. People have got to stop complaining about companies doing unlimited PTO. Because here's the thing. Here's their argument. They're like, oh, so I go and ask for every Friday off for the whole year and they're going to say no? That's not unlimited. You're fucking dumb. You're that, That's not your job. Like, you have a job. You still have a job. You can't take off the entire summer just because you have unlimited PTO. Unlimited PTO is there because they don't want to penalize say there is a jewish person in your organization that has to take off for every jewish holiday when typically the rest of the organization does not they don't want to penalize that person for taking off for their religious beliefs like that could be a reason and then they're like oh so like if i quit i'm not going to be paid out oh so you're looking at quitting like I'm sorry, you're not taking this fucking seriously. Like, I'm sorry that the boomer you're not jumped, a real the boomer right out. out. But I'm just saying, like, then take your fucking vacation days. Go on a vacation once a week, at, like, one, a weekend every month. You don't need to go, like, don't request, don't complain because you can't request off two months in a row or that you actually have to go through a system to request PTO because it's still a company. It's still an organization that has to figure out like when people in their organization are going to be gone and you still have projects. You still have events. Like you still have to do your job. Penalize. (laughs) Penalize. I don't know. It's just like really bugs me. And I like the, 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 the calling it unlimited PTO is the problem. They should just call it flexible PTO is really at the end of the day because they are shooting themselves in the foot by advertising as unlimited when we all know what unlimited means because we've all been to Olive Garden. We know what unlimited is, girl. Yeah, the, I, you're right, but also, I don't know. Like, I've had unlimited PTO before and, like, 
I don't know. Like, I mean, yeah, you make just, it work. Yeah. It's just you, you just take off what, when you need to. That's like, I you have, have to a, be still you be responsible, have to be responsible about responsible. taking it off. I have an, I have an HR girly. I have an HR girly work done who shows up on my, on my algo on tic on the tic tac from time to time. Mm -hmm. And she's one of those who is very like, companies need to stop saying it's unlimited PTO because the minute you're going to walk into HR trouble, the minute you try to put like stops to it because then you're, you can't advertise something as unlimited. Just call it something else. I don't care. Just call it something else. Anyway, uh, I stand with workers unlike Miranda. So okay. I'm I'm with okay. labor unions. Okay. Got it. Corporate Aaron. <laughs> Let's get corporate Aaron in here. Corporate Aaron so, on corporate WGN Aaron corporate morning show. Okay. RJ. Time uh, to go off. I'm gonna go off on this Panera. I'm sorry. These flatbreads suck. They're so bad. They I saw them make it. It is just like a plastic bag of these like full flatbread sheets that they just pull out and they pour some little spaghetti sauce on it. And the tomato isn't even cooked when they put it in that little quick fire warmer. I ate this marin, this quote unquote um, caprese. caprese flatbread and this tomato is cold. Or margarita, margarita. Margarita. Mm. The cheese just melt. The cheese is melted. That's it. That's the amount of cooking that happened on this margarita flatbread. At that point, I was like, I wish I'd just gotten the grilled cheese. I don't know why I felt called to get a quote unquote flatbread. And also the toasted baguettes. What'd you call me? Exactly. <laughs> uh, the toasted baguettes, they're a little hard to eat. The baguettes are already hard. Toasting the baguette and then putting in like a sandwich meat in there. Like let's say a chicken salad baby i don't want to eat a sandwich on a crostini yeah i mm. take one bite and it'll all fall off yeah Panera, especially when you're, you're getting an avocado inside moment of your, inside of your mouth and is, while is the, shredded while you have a shredded mouth panera you know I what can i take over because this is my the, go off the too. art the art of sandwich making Needs to it, needs to be investigated here. Needs to we need to mm -hmm. they need to talk to time. the sandwich experts. They need to yeah. If you're I, gonna have, um, I feel like it should be like an open face sure. situation. So the Christini, if there's if yeah, they're gonna have just do Christini, we need something to sop it up. Dip, do a quack a dip, madame. A <laughs> have y'all ever dipped a Rudin? Reuben, <laughs> Reuben. <laughs> they, they gave me that drop my dark coke soda. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah don't get me started on that damn soda and then when joe finally was not working i was like this is what happened and then i, I dropped him. my soda joe <laughs> joe i couldn't even say god dang it i had to be quiet i had to be quiet um <laughs> okay adam i'm gonna t i'm gonna i'm gonna tag into this panera no i would i want to say no fast casual establishment has fallen off to the extent that Panera Bread <laughs> sure has. they have not had a great year. Bro. I don't know what. It's not even about the charge lemonade. I have to be completely honest. Look deeper inside. on the Search oh. inside yourself. I have come on this and I have yelled about Chipotle. I have yelled about getting enough to just eat at Chipotle. And it's a problem because I should have two full meals out of a Chipotle bowl. And so I've talked about this before. But what is going on with Panera Bread? Is it that there's too many options? Is it that what what is it? Your baked goods aren't hitting anymore. Your sandwiches come out like shit. The soup is like not tasty. I just am so lost at, as to where the where shareholders got it got their little hands into it to be like, well, if we stop using cinnamon, then it's all, then we can save $10 for every whatever. Just stupid shit. It's bad. Panera sucks. I do feel like even back in like resident services pod, we talked about how bad Panera was. Yes. Because resident services pod that, you know, we were still repping the old Apopka Vineland uh, restaurant alley. Oh, sure. And Panera was a stalwart in that. Panera was Panera. the one where we would like, I feel fresh. I want to do something healthy today. <laughs> let's, let's go to Panera. 
Kind of yeah, I don't know. Something's, something's going. On. I ordered a bowl of chicken noodle soup, and why was this bowl like? Why was it half filled? Half filled. Mm. Do you do a bread bowl or a regular bowl? Just regular, because the bread, I just, it's not it's worth not it good. anymore. It's not good. What's going on, Panera? We have confirmation that yes, there was Panera slander in residence. Sales are down. Podcast. Sales are down. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Panera's <sighs> just not that girl. I'm sorry. She's not. She's never she was been the girl. The she's a high She's never been that girl. She was in high school for me. She, she was, was like in high school. She was in high school. She's After like CeCe's school. And you know what? And you know what, Miranda? When we went to Panera uh, on Monday, uh, you have to it put was it all into, high school. You have to put it for Casey. You have to put all it into high, what yep. she understands. Yeah, it's after it's after it. school before <laughs> your speech practice. It's after school before the high school basketball game. Like that's I mean, what I used Panera to, was I used made to for. drink that broccoli cheddar soup. Like it was my job. <laughs> I the got some of that cinnamon. at Costco recently, and it was pretty good. The cinnamon yeah. crunch yeah. bagel with their oh. yes. honey, honey walnut, honey walnut. Cream, cream cheese. cheese. Holy hell. It's so Howl. good. Oh, yeah. man. So sweet. So sweet. Look inward, Panera. God. Reflect. Yeah. Reflect. And get rid of Pepsi. React. What the hell are we get doing? Get rid of Pepsi. That's your problem. Oh, my That's God. You're giving away those... You're giving away the drinks to that unlimited sip club because ain't nobody want a Because no a Pepsi. one is sipping, bitch. No one wants your Pepsi. No. no. no one wants Didn't you see that thing that came out that you get a bunch of um, microplastics in your Pepsi? <gasps> I don't believe it. No. Also, if you're going to, if you serve, if you have the audacity to serve Pepsi in your establishment and you have Dr. Pepper, Fucking grow a pair and put in Diet Dr. Pepper. What are you doing? That's, yes, you can't have what one are you without doing? the other. You can't yeah. have one without the other. And nobody does. You it's have to go to yeah. the machine, like the, what, what are they called? The freestyle. freestyle. The freestyle. It's like the only places that have Black it. Black Spire or whatever they're called. Pepsi Spire. To the Spire. Yeah. To the Spire. Yeah. The, there's a pizza place um, that we go to that me and Joe <laughs> went on our first date. And Casey, we know. Cece is my God. Stop going. We got it. Caesar's. We got it. <laughs> but it was but, Little Caesars. <laughs> but they have like they have like these cream sodas. I think it's it may be main root soda or something. But they have a but one of them is a big red. And then to the side of this whole contraption is a one is just a single soda soda dispenser soda. fountain mm-hmm. thing, and it's a <laughs> Dr Pepper. Just mm. out of nowhere, they have one single Dr Pepper spout, just by not herself, not affixed to the main root fountain. It's just by itself. It's just no like one of those Dr. bathtubs Pepper. where the faucet is <laughs> the ceiling. Understand. So you just put your cup in, and it falls from the ceiling. <laughs> 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 oh. oh, we laugh. No, oh, we laugh. Oh, that's enough, everyone. That's enough, and I think I think that means it's time to gar. Um, thanks everyone gar for home. listening. Gar, gar harm. Does the group chat know about Miss Cheerwine? Yeah, huh? it's like a. It's their own. It's like a. Its own. Um. Sodi, right? Yeah, Cheerwine is its cheer own Sodi. Yeah, it's its own Sodi. Yeah, it's From like where? a... It's, What's the it's flavor very profile? sweet. It's from like a s- it's like a sugar... It's a, it's one of those <laughs> colas that is like made from cane sugar, I think. Mm. Mm. What nice. are the other from, ones made it's from? It's from Salisbury, North Carolina. Cherry Salisbury. taste? It's a cherry. unique and fizzy wild cherry taste. <laughs> I guess. Ooh, cherry. <laughs> I love cherry soda. It's not for me. Cherry, cherry soda. Oh, you're a raspberry soda girly. I'm a raspberry soda. Yeah. Raspberry. You're a raspberry. Cherry wine is, is like, it's, yeah, it's one of those things that you usually only find it in a bottle. Like a mm. glass bottle. That's mm-hmm. fun. Yeah. Did you know? I'm never so in someone, North Carolina. Someone messaged me whenever I posted that glass bottle Diet Coke that I got. And they were like, 
oh my god where did you get that glass bottle diet coke because they don't serve that anywhere in arkansas what? But and I may be coming to Austin soon. So where was it? And I'm like, are you kidding me? This is what you're messaging me about. Have you been everywhere in Arkansas? Like, yeah. I feel I, I find it was that very odd. strange. But I was like, oh, go to a I Mexican this- restaurant. Well, no, the the, the diet it's soda. Diet. Oh, diet. Oh, the oh, diet oh. Coke. Because yeah, mm. the, you get the Mexican Coke in the glass bottle anywhere in Austin, basically, almost. But yeah, the Diet Coke in a glass bottle. This guy was freaking out. The You're like, I'm not to telling you where my or- to bring I a said, full oh, circle. Yeah. Single mama, stop flirting. I'm, not- <laughs> <laughs> I'm a taken woman. This sodi no, is spoken for. Buy girl. them. He can yeah, buy them I'm- at the Coca Cola store right now. I'm pretty sure this guy. <laughs> Is one of those people that has been like, well, if you're ever single again and in <gasps> Arkansas, I'm like, <gasps> no, nah, if I you're ever be. in I'll Arkansas, be, we're blocking. I'll be barking up that tree. But if you do want to learn block. more about the trees that Casey's barked up on, you can enjoy <laughs> Single Rider podcast episodes on the Close Friends. The only Patreon. reason I'm going to Arkansas is to see Maddie Morphosis in drag. Hey, oh, hey. are you? Oh. She lives in Las Vegas now. Oh, does she really? I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. She said, "Yeah, she's a performer." Her girlfriend. I think I don't so. Know. I think so. I think they live together, and I mean, like, he shows like the cats and stuff. I think they're oh, all okay. living together, and in, in good for them. Vegas in bliss. Well, that's it. Thanks, everyone. Can't wait to find out next year if all of our predictions are are. Uh, uh, an Can't upper wait to go flop. down the True. line. Can't wait to go down the line. Just do, 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 do. Now, if our dedicated the person that um, does our wiki, if you could get those all written down, so or who we, runs the oh, yeah, thanks the group Whoever chat Reddit, runs the wiki, yeah, yeah, the group chat Reddit, love that. Write that. Make down sure you keep us. track. Okay, girlies, yeah, thanks our, to um, the chatters. Thanks yeah. to all of our <laughs> redditors. <laughs> redditors. That's what just our own the snark chat. page. We just our snark page. Our snark page is just us <laughs> talking this shit about each host other. Host is a <laughs> fugly, fugly cow. No, it's fugly cow now. Oh, it's fugly cow now. Regina is a fugly cow. <laughs> Joe thought they were so. not saying fugly, and they were saying fucking. And then I was uh, like, no. He's like, no. Oh. <laughs> no, the lore. Uh, all right, girls. That's We've had enough. Thanks, everyone, for listening. We'll see you next time. Don't forget, Close Friends Patreon, $5 a month, three bonus episodes. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.